Who are we talking to? That one or that one? We're talking to both of them. This is the main oh, game. I'm talking talk, to that one. You can talk to whoever you want to. I'm going to talk to this one over here. Hey, Chip. Talk to my picture Hi. over there. Hi, honey. So, hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pajama Party with Chip Coffee. And I am here today with the one, the only, Carrie Polo. Hello, girl. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So let's talk about who you are and where you've been, where people would know you from. Oh, let me tell you don't how, touch me. I know where me, I've been. Let me, well, we'll go there later. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people probably know you because you were in kind of a really big deal few movies, which were... Yeah. They were Meet, Meet the Parents, then was Meet the Fockers, and then was Little Fockers. And that's how, I think that's where most people recognize me for the most part but um but, but i think more and more these days now it's starting yeah. to be from the fosters. fosters yeah the show's just They've, a wonderful concept and it's 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 tackled so many stories and we you know the our fans are amazing in that and that it's it's rabid fans uh, yeah it, and and most 99.9 percent .9%, you know it's just wonderful in the sense that you know if if i had had this 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 show when i was 13 years old you know right. we had the the the, right. the youngest same-sex kiss uh, just a few months ago with two 13-year-old boys that, that kissed on, on screen for the first time. And it got a lot of play in and the media. And it got a lot of, you know, and I don't care. Any publicity is good publicity. There are a lot of naysayers and a lot of, you Fuck know. Em. But there were more, there were more people who were like, this is so great. If I had had this when I was 13, I would be way less effed up than I am today. You so who kisses screen. better, Ben or Sherry? Oh, Sherry, hands down. Sherry kisses better than any male counterpart I've ever played with. Played with. That doesn't sound right. Acted with. I like played with. I played, played with. with. Like now Sherry's an amazing kisser. Is she? Mm -hmm. Would you fantasize a bird? Maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm in your spank bank. My bank. And your spank bank. What the hell is a spank bank? You like, don't know what, what a spank bank is. is? <clears throat> well, let me just put this to you. Let me school you. A spank bank is when you kind of like do yourself. Right. Who do you fantasize about? Oh, and I that's, see. And that's your oh, spank okay. bank. When I was young, young, it was Sean Cassidy. And I got really? to meet him later on in life. Did you? Oh, he's just a tasty treat. But Sean Cassidy, my friends and I used to fight over Sean Cassidy and David. And David was always like, you know, okay, well, I guess I'll have to have David this time. Um, but then when I got older, you know who I've always been in love with? But he's kind of, like, disappointed me. I met him um, for a... Uh, a table read at his house was Johnny Depp. That man in person, I swear to God, you just say, and, uh, and, uh. <laughs> that's how you end up talking. You're like, hi. Uh, <laughs> you can't even speak. Is he, is he like? But he's got a little. He just doesn't look like he's got great hygiene. He kind of comes across as, you know, he needs to be strapped to the hood of a car and run twice <laughs> to a car wash. <laughs> like you know have someone who's showering every five minutes and you know i like a man who can just drop trowel and plow uh, well don't we all but you that know, was <laughs> good i'm gonna use drop, the, trowel, drop and trowel and plow there's a t-shirt for you you want to talk about your kids i would love to think about my kids how many kids do you have i have two kids my son will be 13 next month and my daughter is seven and a half going on 30 because that's just how girls are I will jump on the grenade right now. We are born little bitches, and then we just get to be big bitches. It's just the God's honest truth. When she came out, I swear to God, at the age of three, every emotion under the sun for th in the course of 30 seconds. I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm thoughtful, I'm frustrated, I hate you, I love you. 30 seconds. It's like, Jesus Christ, calm down, child. I'm so... Proud. I tell them every day I'm so proud to be your mom because they're just amazing kids. You're gorgeous. Let me do that for you. Don't you break your much. arm. Uh, so you got a psychic in bed with you. Oh, dear mother of God. I'm so screwed. You want me to tell you something that I picked up from you right from the very beginning? Sure. Something's coming up that's going to distress you a bit. Oh, great. Uh, this oh. is going to come up and it's going to distress you somewhat and throw you into a period of going... Into a little bit of an oh my god, oh my god, doubt, doubtful period. Do not, do not. It's gonna be all right. I just went through one of those. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
Ah! Then maybe I'm picking that up. And I don't know what all that means, but if there's something that's troubled you or mm -hmm. you felt doubtful or whatever, it's all, it's, your spirit guides just want you to know it's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it's gonna lead you to, I'm supposed to use abundance. Yeah. Whatever that happens to mean. Right, right. I don't know. It could be abundance of happiness, abundance of love, abundance of whatever, sex, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're coming into a period of abundance. Yeah. You don't give yourself enough credit. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? That would be great. <laughs> What's the next subject? Here's your credit. Human rights campaign. Yes. It was absolutely amazing for me to watch your acceptance speech for the human rights campaign ally for equality ally for equality it was i was a mess oh Just... thanks there's still a lot to be done um and and we've got to continue we've got to continue on a daily basis uh, and i i said i can't stand the words tolerance and acceptance that's when you're talking about something bad and negative and i came up with this word i believe i believe in you, I believe in love. I believe in 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 the LGBTQ m community. I, I believe it's not like. And I, I don't ever want to hear the words "gay agenda" again. Fuck oh that noise. God. It's it's. I don't. Yeah, I agree. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the surprise. I told you when I invited you to pajama party with me that you were getting a surprise, didn't I? What's his name? And is he naked? Not completely. Damn. A few months ago, there was a big story on the internet. And I may get emotional when I talk about this. Okay, hold on. A big story on the internet about a young man who was gay bashed by a random stranger because... He was seen kissing his boyfriend. Oh, I remember that. Do you? Mm-hmm. Cole Letford. Mm -hmm. Remember that story? I sure do. On the internet? Mm-hmm. Cole. Hello. Hi! 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 Are you okay? I'm great. Mom's really proud right now. I'm in bed with an older gay man and a hot straight woman. <laughs> like, man, mom's watching really proud. Oh so Cole, God, tell, you, tell, you, okay. tell your story. On this November 6, 2015, I left my friend's house and we headed home. I kissed my boyfriend goodnight. He crossed the street. Uh, and as he crossed the street, a man walked up, yelled a gay expletive, punched me in the face and knocked me to the ground. Uh, by the time I got up, he was gone. I rushed home to my fraternity house, sent out a tweet about it, uh, just writing down exactly how I felt. Uh, next thing I knew, I was the number one trending topic in America. And uh, the next morning, I had a huge following of people but who were out. what you said. What I listen said. To this, listen to this, Grace. How uh, old are you? Uh, I was 20 at the time. I'm 21 now. What so, you said. I said, I'm sorry. In a jest, I'm sorry that you feel uncomfortable in the way you are, but I'm not sorry for who I am. I still remember that. I'm glad that both of you decided you could be here today for the pajama party. I I love you both. I feel like life is good for me right now. I've had a great day in bed today. <laughs> you know, two for one. I know. What's the definition of good in bed? Right here, folks. This is oh. good in bed. Thank you all for being here. Terry Polo, mm. Cole Ledford. Thanks for having Look us. Look them up on the internet. You'll find them there. They're amazing people. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.